In the heart of ancient Japan, there was a Zen teacher named Master Banke, a man of humble roots. He had transformed his life by understanding the Zen essence of simplicity and humility. His teachings were neither scripted nor taken from any ancient scriptures, but flowed like a calm river straight from the depths of his heart. This drew people from all walks of life, breaking the barriers of rank and sect. Among the masses, there was a priest from the Nichiren sect. He was a man of stern demeanor, used to commanding respect rather than earning it. His followers were now drawn to Master Banke, and this stirred a storm within him. One day, unable to bear this any longer, the Nichiren priest stormed into the peaceful congregation of Master Banke. In a fit of ego, he challenged Master Banke. His voice resonated through the quiet assembly. Zen teacher, those who respect you will obey what you say, but I do not respect you. Can you make me obey you? Master Banke, unflinching in his calmness, warmly invited the raging priest, Come up beside me, my friend, and we shall see. With pride as his armor, the priest pushed his way to the teacher. Master Banke said, Come over to my left side. The priest obeyed. But then, No, we may talk better if you are on my right side. Step over here. Breaming with pride once again, the priest obeyed. Master Banke said, You see, my friend, you have been following my humble suggestions. I see a gentleness in you, marked by the walls of authority you have built. Now sit with us and share this peace. In the game of power and influence, we often assume authority to be the king. But this simple interaction reveals a deeper truth. True power is not about commanding obedience. It's about inspiring respect and willingness. Master Banke, with his humility and gentleness, moved a stern priest without force or authority. Our paths in life are filled with choices to command or to inspire, to demand respect or to earn it, to dominate or to understand. The way we choose shapes our relationships and influences those around us. Reflect on your influence in your personal and professional lives. Are you a commander or an inspirer? Do you demand respect or earn it? Let Master Banke's lesson guide you in your interaction. True power is not in making people obey, but in inspiring them to listen, respect and follow. If this story resonates with you, give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone who might benefit from this lesson. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more inspiring stories that will help you to see the world through a fresh lens. Remember, every like, every share and every comment helps us build a community bound by wisdom, respect and kindness. Together, we can inspire change one story at a time. And always remember, your power lies in humility and kindness, not dominance. Thank you for watching A Shift in Perspective and until next time, take care and keep shining.